right, so we're at the point where we can access the screws. And again, they are torque screws, same size. You gotta be careful of the spring. See the spring right here? So you're gonna wanna turn this uh, counterclockwise. And because of the spring, you're gonna have to go underneath. It's real easy. And you're gonna get in, in there and you're gonna turn it counterclockwise. Then when you get it counterclockwise, you're gonna go in like this around the spring. You're just gonna push a little bit on it. Just like that. And then you're gonna be able to unscrew it. And you got the same thing on the other side. Then once you get those two, this cover will come right off with the bearing. One thing I didn't think about is, you know, the two flat spots in the shaft, I put in the vise. So I really didn't need a large one to hold it. And that's how I got those uh, two screws out the rest of the way. And uh, so, and then when you do, you got to move this because it'll come up to it and won't go all the way out. So you got to pull back on it and the screw comes right out. Okay, so I'm trying to get this screw out. I was thinking I was going to get it out like I did the other one, but that ain't happening. So it's so tight that I can't even turn it. I don't know if somebody took it apart and stripped it or what. Um, it is a little bit older one. So what I did is, is I uh, put my quarter inch uh, slide adapter, took the slide thing off, so I use it as an extension. Got my torque bit. And I'm uh, going straight on in there. And I was trying to take it out, but it's not. And the reason it is, is as I push on it, it's, okay, it's turning, but it's not coming out. And the reason is, is right here. Because now that it loosened up a little bit, it pushed out, so this thing's not grabbing. So what I need to do is I need to get, that's too big. Maybe that smaller one. I oh, hear let me turn the camera so you can see that a little bit better. Right there. No, that's you know I couldn't see it because it was real small and it was right underneath my little socket case. And so what I'm gonna do is just just enough to I can see that. Just enough. Right there. See how that's seated? Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to push it in and hold it like that while unscrewing it with the drill. If that doesn't work, then I'm going to have to wedge a smaller screwdriver than this in the side or something just to wedge it, keep it from turning. And uh, this this type of design, when manufacturers do that, is so you don't need a, a wrench to hold it on the other side, and usually you can just do it. Just pushing on it, and I do anything else other than pushing. Not on the, not on the center, because that's what needs to turn. Okay. And I don't think I can do it like this for video purposes. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna have to take it to the vise and uh, take my uh, pressure off of holding, trying to hold this, and push on it and use the drill. So um, that's the only. I thought I was gonna be able to do it this way, but no. So that's another learning purposes. Learn from me. Okay, so I went ahead and loosened those up, got them to where they're all the way loose. Okay, what we do is get a little screwdriver and push up on that spring, and that'll move it out of the way, just enough to pull it up. Now I left it like this for a reason. I could have removed it all the way, but I wanted you to see something third hand or a special stand or something would have been nice okay so I want you to notice right here and notice right here they're commutators and they're pushing up against this uh, rotor right here it's a smaller rotor the larger motor rotor is the one that turns inside the stator and create uh, creates the RPMs and the uh, voltage so here we go right here I'm just gonna push up a little bit to hear that slap and you can hear another one there it goes and see that's this that's the commentators go a little bit more and they're gonna slap together there you go a little bit more okay now 
one thing you got to be careful of, like I, I did this so you would see it. You see the strain on there? That's what you got to be careful of. Because you're not careful of that, you'll pull that right out. All right, so there we go. Pull it out. Now, I'm going to put it back on just for general teaching purposes. Um, okay, so see the commentator? See, they're, they're spring loaded, and the spring is right here. Okay. Now, pull the screws out. All right. I'm going to take, because there's no tension from the stator pushing on a commutator, it's not going to be too much. What I'm going to do is going to see, see that right there. Okay. That's what's pushing on the commutator. So I'm going to take that. Again, it's really hard because of the camera. I'm holding the camera on that. There you go. See that? Now, that commutator is going to come right through. But the reason it's not is because I was trying to hold it and trying to do that. And actually, you don't need to go that way, but that's the way it's in uh, stator. It's totally accessible. There we go. And you notice this is the shafting goes in with the bearing. And then the smaller stator and the larger stator. This is what goes in inside the rotating field of the rotor this stator is for the commutator and this is the bearing that holds it in the front and the bearing that holds it in the back so i'm gonna put it back together just to show you okay not fully because this is just to kind of understand this okay now that it's back on the stator I'm sorry, it's a little bit wobbly. Again, it's not that easy. Okay, so like that. All right. So now I'm gonna take the commutator, have the wire like that. That's actually a lot easier showing you. Here we go. All right. Take that, and you notice that it's it's pushing on it. But it's now pushing it through, and the reason is, is it's resting up against that stainer. Okay. Then you would put those screws back in, that screw back in, tighten it down, and that's how you put it together.